I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And we've been doing a cargo camper conversion and we started from the ground up and we have been building everything. And we are now at the point where we are ready to put in the bed. And we are actually going to be doing a bed that uses E-Track so that we have plenty of storage underneath. Let's go ahead and start the bed project. Some of the things we need for the bed we have some furring strips, we've got two by fours, and do we have E-Track? That is very important. And what about the clips for the E-Track? We've got some E-Track. So the first thing we need to do before we put the E-Track in is find our studs. We uh, knew where they were and we did not seem to record that well. So um, we are paying the price for that now by not being able to do things as quickly. So once we find these studs, we're gonna get the E-Track uh, um, screwed in and then we can start building the bed. Step number one is to determine the height of the bed. Um, so what we decided to do for the bed is we want to put it at 17 inches of the E-Track, 17 inches um, off the ground because we want enough space for at least two of these stack tubs and then a standard tub is about 15 inches. So we just want the ability to do whatever we need to do to tote our stuff. All right, so we're gonna measure up 17 inches and we are going to start securing the E-Track in as we go along. So the first screw will set in the corner and then we will make sure that the uh, um, that this end is at 17 and that end is at 17 when we screw it in. Okay, so this step we're cutting the two by fours to put into the brackets that mount into the E-Track. If you've never seen these uh, brackets, they're great. They actually uh, do wonders. And a pro tip, when you go to put it in, you put just a little bit of an angle on one of the boards so that it still fits snugly, but you don't have to beat the little fool out of it to get it in there. And this one is the wrong length. So let's put th this one is actually cut for this one. Now I'm going to put a screw on each end up through the bracket and into the wood. All right, so our next step is going to be measuring the slats we, that we will put across to handle the um, uh, weight of the mattress. So what we're going to do is the width of the bed is 54 inches. So I'm going to uh, the actual mattress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these um, slats at 54 inches. So we'll probably have them about like this on here with a little bit of room extra. I'm going to go ahead and cut them because either way they're going to be the same size and then what we're going to do we're going to lay them on here and we're going to kind of look see if we want to move this back a touch if we, you know we'd kind of adjust the, uh, the underneath depending on how big this is. All right so cut the, the size of these slats is going to be approximately 54 inches it's not rocket science on the actual length so I'm going to actually cut them as an entire bundle just to make my life easier. Eric is going to start to screw down the slats with a two inch drywall screw and then we'll, we'll get all these screwed in and then we'll start uh, working on the next round.
All right, so we've got the slats in and it's looking good. So, uh, you know, I want to lay my wife down on a bed of roses, but all she's getting is a bed of slats. The next step is to adjust the size of the mattress. We will have to cut just a touch off the end because we're laying horizontally or, you know, I guess uh, uh, this way. We're laying this way. So um, it's, it's a little bit shorter than the standard bed is. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the cover off the end of the mattress that we're gonna cut. So we're just gonna keep unzipping. You use the yield thumbtack. A lot of the memory foam mattresses have like a, a skin on them that's kind of a meshy cover. You're gonna wanna cut this cover first because if you just cut this with the mattress, then you're gonna not be able to fold it over and cover the end that you cut. Now we're going to get a measurement on the mattress and we're going 68 and a half. Which is... We're going to start off with this razor knife cutting the first layer and then I'm probably going to end up using the bread knife to do it the rest of the way. So now that we've cut the mattress to size, we're going to wrap it all back together and bring it out to the camper. So they decided to use the mattress that they already had up in their spare room because the one that they ordered had springs in it and you can't cut one with springs in it. So be really careful when you're ordering to make sure that you don't get one with springs in it but that you get a memory foam. Yeah, well but, it said memory foam. But this is just a little thicker than what they had planned on but it still works beautifully. It's so comfy though, way comfier than what we planned. The bed is finished and it looks fabulous. It ended up being a little bit higher than we originally anticipated but we're gonna be really happy that it is, they are gonna be really happy that it's very thick and comfortable very because comfortable. we ended up putting several toppers on ours to get it to the comfort level that we wanted mm -hmm. and when you're in your camper i think comfort level is most, most important, important when it comes yeah. to sleep yeah Thanks convenience is great but comfort if you're not comfortable you're not going to stay in it no matter how convenient it is so uh, getting a good night's sleep uh, you know that's why you have a camper instead of a tent you don't wake up with a sheen over you um, so it's being comfortable is number one so we are now complete with this project and we're ready to go on to the next one. For more videos like this, click on the link on the screen or go to our channel and visit one of our playlists. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. For a list of the tools that we used and items that we used in this project and for other tips and tricks and step-by-step -step instruction, you can visit our website at www.befreebenson.com. And make sure you put the www in, otherwise, for some reason, it doesn't go there. And just in case you forget that address, the link is in the description below. And as always, doing things yourself saves you money and allows you to be free. See you in the next video. You're blurry back there. <laughs> I'm little too. <laughs> Eric will come help me. Sorry, I'm in He's here and they started there. a video. You're the one who knows where they are. Well, We're never going to get this whiny, done. Whininess. Yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> the dogs? You want to sit on the edge? <laughs>
It's a little bit higher than you. And me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a step stool to get to our bed. Thank goodness we have that to sit on. 